ball. It's going to be Fabrice Martin for the Philadelphia Freedoms and Taylor Townsend. She is a baller, and she is in the I formation ready to pounce. You know, before we get into the Freedoms, we talked about Lynchstead and McNally. Check this. Lynchstead, 43 years old, and McNally, 18. I'm trying to do some quick math. I think that's 20. Gosh, I'm blowing it. 25 years difference. That's pretty ridiculous. Robert Lindstedt was already on tour before McNally was even born. <laughs> More than double her age. Got Taylor Townsend, one of the best volleyers on the WTA tour. Taylor's really good around that, beautiful hands. She got out of that eye formation very quickly. Crazy to think some coaches around the league would say she's the most valuable player in the league, and they still have Kennan and Fritz. We talked about it earlier, they are loaded. And right on cue, she bricks the ball in the net. You jinxed her. <laughs> <laughs> With the depth in the league this year, though, it's so valuable to have players that you can sub in and sub out, maybe give one player a break one night, sub in someone else for the singles or the doubles or vice versa. Taylor Townsend, she checks all those boxes. points now we're at 30 all and if you're the lasers we know they're back-to-back -back champs but let's be honest their roster is not the same as it was last year lost their first match we know each team is going to play 14 matches plenty of time to get back in the standings no time to panic but you know you'd like to see them have a better showing here today Taylor Townsend is known for having one of the best overheads on the WTA Tour. Fabrice Martin, 33 years old, from France, plays for the French flag, but he lives in Florida. Fifth consecutive season with Freedom 6-6, has a bomb of a serve. Second in the league last year in men's doubles, went 30-25. She's nice finish from Townsend. Fabrice Martin had a good start to 2020. He won Adelaide. Take a little closer look at the Philadelphia Freedoms. If you don't know, they are owned by Billy Jean King. 2001, 2006 champions. And they've always been in it these last two years, but they haven't gotten over the hump. You kind of feel like this is going to be their year. Yeah, they've been knocking on the door, but like we said in the open, an aggressive offseason. Ready to make a move in 2020. Lynch dead with a double. Well, in auspicious start on his service game. But this guy was huge for them last year. Looks at 43 years old, but he came through in the final last year, winning both of his matches in men's doubles and mixed. Three out of the five sets is double, so you always want those double specialists on your squad. Could it be two doubles in a row? This is what's crazy about the deciding points. We take another look here at Townsend working two forehands. She gets a sitter right here. Bye-bye. OK, so you're at love 30 as a returner. You're telling yourself, you just need one of the next three points, and you're going to get a break point. Big hitting in the backcourt from Fabrice Martin. All right, four break points here. What do you think the percentage chance is that Lynchstead can hold? Let's say 20%. What do you think? Four points in a row? 
And he rattled I on. I might put it a little higher if you could pop some first serves in. All right, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> I'll bet you this. I'll bet you a, a water. I don't want to have the tennis <laughs> integrity unit after me. That's good. good. <laughs> Not the best time for charity. They get the early break. We talked about it earlier, but the Lasers and Coach De Jaeger has really built great chemistry there. They are back-to-back -back world team tennis champions. Five-time finalists to see right there. And De Jaeger, three-time coach of the year. This is his 21st year coaching in the league. Here's a look at him right there. Good return out of the deuce side for the veteran, Robert Lindstedt, the former Pepperdine Wave. This interesting dynamic when you're playing mixed doubles. Sometimes as the male player, you feel like you need to do a little more, especially in the scenario he's in tonight, playing with such a young player. You end up pressing a little bit. Sometimes I like stealing the signs a little bit. She's going wide and Fabrice is going left. Viewers, you can hit me up if you hate that. We're doing our Tony Romo here. A lot of times in the mixed doubles, too, you'll see a male player landing up in an eye formation or sort of an Australian formation to try to take the returner's eye off the ball. Just like a distraction, right? Yeah, just try to, you know, try to help your partner out with their serve a little bit. There's Taylor Townsend, world junior champion, won the Australian Open in singles and in doubles. By the way, you already lost the first bet because uh, they didn't hold. In fact, you double faulted, so I feel like you were way off on that oh, one. I was well aware. <laughs> Taylor Townsend had a breakout U.S. Open last year, qualified and made the fourth round. Huge Her win over Simona Halep, right? Yes, she was playing heavy forehands all over the net, giving Halep fits. We were talking about Taylor Townsend taking out Simona Howell. We got a little trivia question for you. She went to net a bunch in that match. She wins in three sets. How many times do you think she went to net in that match? This is Taylor Townsend beating Simona Howell up at the U.S. Open. Is this a Mark Lucero question or a rhetorical question? <laughs> no, I would just take a guess. How many times she went to the net? How many times did oh, she yeah, went she to the net? She was in triple digits. She was well over 100. Great call. 106. Wow, Fabrice Martin so close to the net strap. <laughs> Our producer just said it was 107 with the handshake, and she won 64 of those points. It's going to help. That's a former world number one. That is an impressive win. And a lot of people think with Taylor, she's so talented. People want to see her get to not top 20, top 10. She's got the talent, right? Yes, yeah, so just think about that. If you run the numbers, she won 64 of those 106 approaches. That percentage versus the normal baseline point percentage, which is probably around 50-50. Odds are in your favor. Get to the net. Yeah. And you just don't see that much in the women's game. In fact, even the best women's doubles players, they're mostly serving and staying back. And the fact you see her serving to the male and coming behind it on a second serve, how confident is she absorbing those first volleys, right? Well, it's funny, this new generation that's coming up right now, the Katie McNallys, the Coco Goffs, they're approaching the net with abandon. You'll see Katie McNally serving and volleying, chipping and charging on returns. In her singles, Coco Goff as well, finishing balls out of the air. Serve right there, big kicker from the lefty. And why is it when it comes from a lefty, it just has more spin? It's like they come out of the womb uh, with those bending worst. serves, those lefties. I wish I was a lefty. Spins bouncing away. If you watch Taylor, just a beautiful motion, nice and slow in the beginning, high contact point. And if you watch where the ball bounces, it's going to bounce to the left of McNally. And when it comes off the strings, it's going to her right. Philadelphia so fast out of the gates tonight. I mean, we, we've seriously had two conversations and it's 3-0 already. And that's what you love about the league, right? I don't know, I'm still setting up my computer out here. <laughs> oh. 
Get up there. It's our first look. A little bit of a let reaction. Love that rule. Taylor Townsend's forehand, but she's playing really well. She's playing with her, le all using all of her leftiness. As you see, when she gets that forehand cross court, there's so much angle on it, tailing through the sideline, going away from Katie McNally. What do they call that? The can opener? Is that what they call it when you have lefty spin? I just call it leftiness. All right, leftiness. It's a technical term. <laughs> World Team Tennis is when it stays close. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I do not want to see five love right here. I really don't. Eighteen years old, five eleven. I was walking behind her the other day, and I was so impressed. Physically strong, she seems. I mean, fast start or what? 4-0 for the Philadelphia Freedoms. Taylor Townsend is all over the net. Second half of doubles coming up after this. We are about 15 minutes into this match, and the first set is almost over. But the beauty of World Team Tennis, every game counts. If you're Springfield, you might be feeling down, but hey, Let's get on the board, keep it semi-close, you can chip away at that lead. Every game counts, even in a losing effort. If you can scrap out a game here, make a hold there, a couple extra points in a return game, get to a deuce point, that little difference can make a huge difference near the end of the match. Yeah, not only the score, but maybe just a little momentum, right? Get a game here, carry over to the women's doubles, kind of like you pass the baton to the next team, and you don't want to be down five, although. <laughs> Oof. That's nice right there, huh? Robert Lindstedt showing a little variety out of the forehand corner. It's Coach Carden. Nice racket head speed from Robert Lindstedt to get that ball to go up and down. Is it just me or Fabrice Martin? His grunt is the old hi -ya. It sounds a little karate-esque. hear that? I don't hear that very often. I was trying to put his back into it, you know? <laughs> it is. It's a hi -ya. I feel like they... Have they gone I-formation... Well, I was just about to say they've gone I-formation every time right now. Go back to the regular. Taylor Townsend is so solid up there. The thing about doubles is you can practice it quite a bit, like Taylor Townsend has, like Fabrice Martin has. You know where the ball is going as soon as it gets you. There's no decision making that happens. It's very systematic. Taylor Townsend just volley through the middle of the court, angle it off. Well done from Taylor Townsend. Tough. You know, he's cracking serves at 130 for the first serve. It's a big kicker. I commend Katie McNally for taking it early, but I mean, pick your poison there, right? Between Martin and Townsend. Oh, it's so nice to finish off volleys of the net when you have a big server behind you. Three set points. <laughs> Going a little showboat right there, showing off the spin. Like I said, we are just 20 minutes into this match. They have taken the first set in a bagel. We got women's doubles when we come back.